Hello, welcome to another edition of the Bibliophiles. You know, the whole reviewing thing is, there are two facets to it. First is to inform people about stuff that you think is good, in the hopes that, that whatever it is you're talking about that you think is good will flourish, and a lot of people will buy it, and it'll make a lot of money, and to tell people about what you think is bad, so people will stay away from that, and whatever it is that you don't like will, you know, just go off and just get canceled or whatever. And today I'm going to talk about a bad, or what I thought was an example of a bad novel. <clears throat> Out of the Dark by David Weber. Oh, sounds, it's a stupid name, in my opinion. You know, oh, <clears throat> why does this book suck? Well, let's get this started with spoilers. Um, it starts out in the um, 14, 15 or so. Um, alien scout ships are, are um, you know, scouting out the planet Earth to see if they can incorporate the planet in with their galactic hegemony. Or the hegemony, or whatever. Um, <clears throat> and, um... They see the, um, they come across the Battle of Agincourt, where, you know, it was, um, the British forces face off against the French, and they're outnumbered like three to one, I think, and, um, and they just come out victorious and all this, you know, but because they can't keep any prisoners, they just kill everyone. And the aliens see this, and they are just, you know, horrified by what they see. And even though several of the, even members of the crew of this sh scout ship point out that, you know, this is a non-space-faring society and obviously not, the, the entire planet isn't united under one flag like most of the other planets in this, <clears throat> in their little hegemony are, they just, the captain just ignores it all and just slates the entire species for complete destruction. Okay. And I'm just thinking, watching this thing like, really? You know, you're upset about how the humans aren't taking any prisoners, or not really all the humans, just um, the British aren't taking any French prisoners. So you just decide to wipe out the entire species? Everyone? Really? Like, you, you, they don't even bother um, talking about or uh, looking at any other, any, any, any cities like uh, Paris or England or anywhere. They just see this one little battle and decide to wipe out all of the human race. And, and then they just leave, you know. And, and then uh, flash forward like... 600 or so years later to present day, and they send one of their member species called the Shangari or Shang or something that Shangari, whatever. They're supposed to be like this warrior race, and um, oh, one thing is um, like somehow like a majority of the species of the galactic hegemony are either evolved from herbivores or omnivores. Um, I don't really get how, you know, like, um, you know, if you're a carnivore or an omnivore, you know, you have to learn to be, um, you know, aware of your surroundings, be careful of being downwind, be stealthy. You have to have a forward-facing eyes for binocular vision. Yeah, I learned to travel in packs and coordinate, strategize on how to take down food. But you don't really get that with the um, herbivores. You know, they just occasionally come out in large numbers. And then when a predator comes in, they all scatter and run away. Don't really. So don't really know how. Is <clears throat> um. Anyway, um. Like I said, goes to present day, and the Shangari are supposed like the only race that evolved from carnivore-based species, 
And um, <clears throat> what is that? No, anyway, like um, the the way they invade is actually smart because it's the way you'd expect aliens to invade. They set up their ships in orbit, then um, they set up a, a like just bombard all of the cities and military installations and and naval ships from the safety of orbit where we can't get to them and like that they just wiped out half the half of humanity I mean, at first they're sort of surprised but by how fast human has developed because according to what they say that even even um <clears throat> Like even like the most fastest technologically advancing civilization that they had before the humans, it still took them twice as long to go from you know uh, you know swords and armor to guns and technology. But I don't really see how you'd be that surprised. You think you'd be, they'd expect some um, <clears throat> advancement over the years. Yeah, anyway, um, they uh, like I said, they wipe out like half the human race in like the first day of the conflict, <clears throat> and then they land a few ship ships and um, they like set up bases and so forth, and then almost not really immediately, but um, several um, several humans set up like guerrilla fighters and resistance forces and so forth. And um, yeah, they uh, and they're actually doing a pretty good job at killing as many aliens as they can. And um, so during this, they um, some of the alien Shongiri, like at first they want a reason why they're not just wiping everyone out instantly, like what they um, were supposed to, because they were trying to uh, incorporate the humans as like a client race into their empire. And make give them an edge above the other species in the <clears throat> the galactic hegemony, and um, and like I said, it doesn't look like it's going well. So they start studying them, and it's like um, uh, like the, one of the things that they first come out with is is um, <clears throat> how you know like like how. Um, like humans will just uh, form packs and they'll like go out and search for if like one of their young is missing and, and um, well, like they'll bother like I'm just thinking like or how, and how um, if a predator is going in and then they'll all risk each other's lives to save the one person and so I'm just thinking like really the big advantage is we have the power of caring about others no other species has this i mean like also the reason why the entire uh why they why the scouts slated the entire species for destruction is because we're supposed to be like a bunch of uncaring monsters or whatever so are humans uncaring warmongering people or are we or aren't we i mean make up your mind um and um by the and also during this, there's a there's a sort of subplot about uh, just entire bases being completely wiped out by this random like uh, like like um this unknown forces. The first uh, Shungari general in charge thinks it's the um the, I think it's like some other race that's sabotaging them to make them look bad or something. Uh, but um yeah like we'll just get into that later eventually the the uh, resources and the uh, loss of life combined with from the gorilla fighters combined with this unknown force you know it's just getting to be too much so they decide there's only one way to be sure and they take off deciding that they're just going to wipe out the whole human race and just be done with it <clears throat> And you know, I'm thinking like there are there ships already in orbit. Anyway, um, 
ships take off and one by one some of them just blow up for seemingly no reason and then it is revealed who this unknown force is the people that have been wiping out entire bases and you know who they are <clears throat> you're, you're not going to guess or you're not going to get it okay I'll just like pause the video put a comment in below like who you think the bad guy is then start playing the video and I'll like tell you who the bad who this unknown force that's been taking out the aliens is okay okay are you ready okay it was vampires vampires just out of nowhere vampires and Vlad Dracula or Count Dracula is the lead the one leading the whole thing you know something like that's just out of nowhere vampires really <clears throat> and uh, yeah vampires they come in they kill the last of the aliens as they're as of the Shangari as they're retreating you know they take some of their ships and use them to like harvest asteroids or whatever and then yeah like so yeah this is and then it just starts with the whole year one of the Terran Empire or whatever and like, <clears throat> the humans and the, the vampires are now like friends and they go out and decide to go out to fight back against the galactic hegemony and you know and so like that's the end so yeah this book really sucks and it's not because of the inherent bullshit that's in all you know space invasion space alien invasion type stuff that ends with humans coming out as the victor as victorious because yeah it kind of it Zone. But there's just so much other stuff. Final, like final rating for this would be two out of five. It does get some. It is kind of interesting on how they provide a bit of a realistic explanation for the beginning of the invasion. But overall, there's just too much stupid to you know weighing it down and making it suck. <clears throat> and. And even though, like, the idea of, you know, uh, vampires fighting space aliens sounds like a really cool idea, in my opinion, it was just, I felt it was just, like, poorly handled. It's just a, it was, they just made it, like, a last-minute twist thing. Anyway, um, there's my opinion on this book. Um, well, the, till next time, see ya.